hey guys you have your first a level chemistry exam coming up soon um so here are a few last minute tips to help you with that now over on website it's not finished i'm really really sorry it's about 50 percent finished i have loads of multiple choice questions for you just to take you through facts 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 recall 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 because these sort of things are so important when you get into the exam if you don't know the facts if you don't know the basics you're going to find it really really hard to be able to apply things to new situations so make sure you've got your facts make sure you've got your recall sorted because one thing that always comes up in the examiner's reports is that people are so focused on revising the really, really hard stuff that comes up at the end of year 13 that sometimes they forget the easy stuff that comes up at the beginning of year 12. So it's really important that you look at the whole course and cover the whole course. Another thing you need to remember when you're answering your A-level questions is that they don't tell you information that you don't need. So if you've got a question and there's bits of information, one, two, three bits of information, and you think you've managed to answer the question only using bits of information one and bits of information two, then you're not going to be accessing the full marks. You need to refer to all of the information in the question in your answer. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get all the ticks from the marks. And if it's hierarchical marking, like some of them are, then you're not going to be able to access the higher level marks. You're probably not going to be able to move out of the bottom box. And it's so, so painful when you're marking and you see this beautiful, beautiful answer that is like 95% correct, but they've missed out a bit of information from the question, so you can't move them out of the lower level box. So please get those highlighters out. Make sure you've used all of the information in the question. And please remember all of your practicals. I've got videos for practicals over on my channel. You need to know the methods really, really well and the variables and things you can do to improve them. And then how you can take those methods and apply them to new situations. So I'm really sorry that I don't have as much as I wanted for um, A-level chemistry um, for you, um, but good luck guys, um, A-level chemistry is my absolute favourite. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just drop them down below and I'll answer them for you. Good luck. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.